YouTube, the Alien Isolation VR mod for the Oculus Rift has intelligently found us shivering under a table, grabbed us by the shoulders and smashed right into our faces and then out the other side. The mod looks stunning and today I'm gonna show you how to get the mod working in about a minute, then I'll cover off some of the limitations, how to best play the game and what you can expect to So stay locked, crush that like button. Enjoy, and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh you can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. A program called Nibre has put a mod up on GitHub that lets you play Alien Isolation on the Oculus Rift CV1 or DK2. And while the dev has mentioned that Vive support will be coming soon, at this stage it's Rift only. To get the mod working, you'll need to have the Steam version of Alien Isolation installed, and you can find that on sale from time to time for around 10 bucks. Once you've got that, check the description of this video and click the Alien Isolation VR mod. Then, when this page loads up, click this Mother VR 0.1.1 zip link or whatever one's at the top to download the file to your computer. And once it's downloaded, extract the file using WinZip or 7-Zip. In the extracted folder, you will see two files. With this .dll file here, you need to copy that into your Alien Isolation game folder, which you can locate by going to this PC on Windows 10 or my computer on Windows 7 going to your C drive, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, then into this alien isolation folder. Now just drop the DLL file into this folder and it's that simple. Now before you start the game, head into Oculus Home, into the settings menu, devices, click on the Rift, and then make sure you set the audio to Rift headphones or both. Or if you have this set to Windows default, then just make sure that in your playback tab on your Windows taskbar, that your Rift headphones are set as default in here. You have to do this because the mod doesn't automatically switch to your Rift headphones when you start the game via Steam if your Rift headphones aren't set as default already. Now, just start the game via Steam. If the game doesn't start for you in VR, try removing the dxgi.dll file from the install folder, then starting the game in normal mode, and then create a save. Then just drop the dll file back into your install folder and try again. Also, I had an issue where I kept getting this message pop up here. If you get that message, then check the description below and then click on the extra DLL link. I've included two DLL files that were missing from my install. So just copy those to your Alien Isolation install folder as well and start the game and that will fix that one. At any point, if you want to disable the VR mod for this game and just play Alien Isolation on a regular monitor, then just right click on Alien Isolation in Steam, Choose properties, then set launch options, and type dash no VR into this field. Hit OK and the VR mode will be disabled. Another thing you can do is you can take the images in the store assets for 1.17 folder and use them to replace the auto-generated images created by Oculus Home. So first, check if you are on Oculus Home 1.17 by opening up Oculus Home. Click on the settings icon and then on the general tab. The version of Oculus Home will be listed down the bottom here. If you are on 1.17 or above, then copy these images to your C drive or whatever drive you have Oculus Home installed on. Then go to Program Files, Oculus, Software, Software, store assets and drop those images in there and it's that easy as far as the install goes once you're up and running you can skip cutscenes by holding enter on your keyboard or holding a on your xbox controller and pressing the lb and rb buttons on the xbox controller will reset your height in game now a few things to keep in mind while playing it is recommended to play this seated there is no room scale support whatsoever and standing is definitely not recommended you can play it standing if you like, 
but be warned, it's not really ideal. You can use either an Xbox One controller connected to your PC or a traditional keyboard and mouse to make your way around the station. And I actually found the keyboard and mouse was the most comfortable way to play as I find the short, sharp mouse movements were less sickening than the slow turning Xbox controller. And there is no snap turning at this stage, it's smooth turning only, which I prefer anyway. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is a basic release and while Nibre has been quick on the update so far, the mod does have some minor issues to start. There is currently no native option to view the game on your PC's monitor while you are playing in the Rift. But to get around that, go to the drive you have Oculus Home installed on, so for me that's a C drive, go to Program Files, Oculus, Support, and in this Oculus Diagnostics folder, run this oculusmirror.exe file. This will display whatever you are seeing in your Rift onto your desktop. Just be aware that using this tool does come with a slight performance hit. Changes to the graphic settings in the pre-game menus that require the game to reinitialize will crash the mod. For example, if you change from full screen to windowed mode. This isn't a game breaker as the settings will still change, but you'll just have to relaunch the game to see the changes take effect. And just be aware that you can't close the game directly from the Oculus overlay if you have that option in Oculus Home 1.17. So you'll need to shut the game down and relaunch from the main menu or from your Windows desktop. Some menu UIs may appear off screen in the game, but all the buttons work as you would expect, and so as mentioned in the release notes, you may just have to memorize which buttons do what, which isn't something you'll find difficult to do if you've ever played a game without looking at your controller the whole time. Interactive objects like the terminals also get right up in your face, and due to the limitation of the Rift's Gen 1 resolution, this can make things difficult to see clearly up close. For this sort of thing, closing one eye will help you focus on objects and read text that is too close. Also, you'll notice that during first person sequences, your view will jump back to the front of the tracking space you have set up in your room. To fix that, just, uh, turn around. And finally, if you like the mod and you have a dollar or two spare, then there is a link in the description where you can donate to Nibre to say thanks for the hard work and all the time he as a single modder has put into doing something that Sega, a multinational corporation, hasn't sorted any of us out with over the past two years. Thanks Nibre and uh, thanks Tiger too. You did make the game and it's still damn good. And that's it for this tutorial. So if you like what you saw, then crush that like button, click the link on screen now for more content or click the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.